Hello, everyone, and welcome to Inside Sweet Tooth, where we uh, take a, a behind-the-scenes look at some of the people, some of the people who make Sweet Tooth possible. Today we have uh, Rachel Offenberger with us, and she's with Troll Beats. Hi, Rachel. Hi, everyone. Hi, Jeff. How are you doing today? I'm well. How are you? Good. Good. We're doing all right. Um, now that I got Zoom working and everything, I'm feeling much better. Um, <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about, uh, can you tell us a little bit about Troll Beads? Sure, of course. So Troll Beads is a bead on bracelet concept. It started in 1976 um, by the original artisan Lise Agard. And it started as one bead on a leather bracelet. And um, they would need, if they wanted an, an additional bead, they would have a, another leather bracelet. So it was just one bead on one leather bracelet. And then folks started asking, can I have multiple beads on one bracelet? And that's where the concept grew. So then they started to create um, a collection of beads where they can um, all be put on a bracelet and there grew troll beads. And that's, and now all these years later, um, we've developed several different carriers how, uh, that you can wear your beads on mm -hmm. and you can wear just one or fill it all the way up. Yeah. Yeah, those are, that is a great little concept and Sweet Tooth has been, has loved having it. That is for sure. Well, and what is, what's your exact position there? What so, within, so within Troll Beads, I'm the wholesale account manager. Mm -hmm. So I get the great privilege of working with all of our um, independent retailers that carry Troll Beads. Which oh, all, right. Sweet Tooth all right. The, uh, uh, now, have you, have you been a creative person? You know, you consider yourself a creative person over your, uh, uh, during your life there? I would say so, yes. And everything, especially in my adult life, uh -huh. as I've had different positions um, in my career, has always led me back to a creative path. Um, so I, my background used to be human resources, and I decided to stay home with my family. Um, and while I was doing that, I was making cupcakes and things for the kids at school and then decided, well, they can't just have a plain old cupcake. They have to have a cupcake that looks like a farm animal or a little person laying on the beach or whatever. And so mm -hmm. I started creating, you know, kind of different dessert type things. And suddenly parents wanted to pay me to make them. So I started oh, nice. a little baking business. Yeah. Um, and I still do custom cookies and, and things as well. So do you have any, some favorites that you bake that are, or do you like uh, them? Well, I mean, I love doing my custom cookies for um, folks. I do a lot of the team sports in, within my own town, mm -hmm. but personally I do love um, fresh banana bread. That's always a favorite. Um, and in my house, I make this wonderful Amish bread with um, jam that I make um, from scratch and I can it. And it's, you know, there's nothing like it. So those would be my favorites. All right, all right. That would sound <laughs> yummy. I like the banana yeah. bread as well. Um, no pressure though, but <laughs> <you're>, <laughs> <That's what laughs> it. I do like it. Um, you know, you've been here at, at, at Sweet Tooth several times for our artisan events and you've, uh, you've sat down with customers. I don't know if everyone knows, but uh, you, where you sit down with customers and we schedule people and they actually create, we create a bead here in the, in the store. So uh, how did you know, how'd you find out how to do that? Or how did you just, how'd you do it? So it was kind of interesting. I was at an event. Um, I was just kind of like an ambassador for the brand. And I was sitting with the artisan at the time and she had a little downtime. So I asked her to kind of show me what she was doing. And I started trying to do them myself. And then when I got back home from the event, I showed my manager, like, oh, these are the beads I made. And she took them to um, who is now our global CEO, Robin Agard, and showed them and said, look, this is what Rachel did. And, and they asked me then to be on the team for, to become an artisan. So um, after that is when I started the training and um, I'm fortunate enough to be able to get to demonstrate the art of lamp working now. Yeah, that is, uh, that's pretty cool. That's kind of a big time there. Yeah, yeah, that's exciting. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Did you, do you have any of the troll beads you've made or anything that, that you have there? Yeah, yeah, so I have a rod here 
I'm hoping that you guys can see yeah. that. Um, so you can see they kind of come all shapes and sizes, um, just like all of our glass beads that are handmade. They all look a little different. And this is just a couple of um, designs that I've made in the past. So this one here is a little bit dichroic, this first one. The next one is some dots that are sunk in. The third one just has some marbleizing textures. The fourth one is um, stripes. And this little guy here, it's hard to see, but he has some pretty little flowers right inside. Mm. So those are just some of the, um, the, uh, the um, variety there. Yes, thank you. Yep, just some of the options that we have yeah. to make. Yeah, it looks, it looks great. Now, is your, uh, uh, we obviously, if we do the artisan event again, it might be a Zoom, Zoom thing. Then, and uh, uh, we did something, I think we did something FaceTime last, last time you were here, or maybe a couple of times you were here with, with a customer. And it, actually, it seemed to work out very well. Yes, and given the current um, climate, we've had to kind of really think about how we get to interact with folks because we can't be um, completely together. So how do we do things together apart, just like our together apart beat. Exactly. So, <laughs> so um, uh, Zoom is really a great opportunity for everyone to connect. And I can certainly do um, demonstrations and communicate and connect with our customers and collectors um, in this fashion as well. Mm -hmm. And they um, can still kind of customize their requests like we've done in the past, telling me what colors they would like and um, kind of talk about the process so that um, our customers and collectors can learn about lamp working and how it works. And I explain everything that I'm doing as I go through. And, um, and then I would be happy to then send them their bead to their home once we're all done. Mm -hmm. Well, I tell you, the artisan events have been extremely popular. You know, people ask us, uh, when's the next artisan event? And uh, um, they just really enjoy that interaction and they like watching, you know, the beads being created, even if it's not theirs. They're just, they're watching. It's, it's pretty fascinating, I think. And it's, uh, we've really appreciated uh, you and Troll Beads doing this uh, for us. It's just been, uh, it's really enhanced the brand, I think. Yeah, I think it's um, important, especially with everything so commercial these days, um, you don't really always understand or even have the opportunity to appreciate something that's made with someone's hands. You know, every, everyone assumes that everything is sort of machine made. Mm -hmm. And it really um, allows people to see the true value of troll beads that, you know, every piece of glass, you know, is handmade is created one by one. So there's no, you know, uh, assembly line and machines cranking out glass beads. It's somebody sitting there and putting their time and energy and craftsmanship and artistry into each and every piece that's made. So if you kind of step back from your beautiful counter there at Sweet Tooth and everybody looks at all the glass beads that you have to offer, mm -hmm. to really think about how each and every one was created by a person and not a machine is sort of breathtaking in a way yeah. to know that, you know, somebody you'd like sat there and did that for them. It's kind of amazing. And so to be able to see that process, I think really allows people to even more appreciate um, the brand. Yeah, I, I think you're right. And the fact that they're all just, a li they're not exact, you know, they're mm -hmm. not exact replicas. They're all just a little bit, bit different, you know, because, that's right. and so that's kind of a cool, cool thing also. Well, I was wondering if, if there's any, is there anything you can share with us about what's maybe coming up uh, in, in Troll Beads? Anything sure. Special? Okay. So actually today, um, it was released to our retailers, our autumn collection. Um, so uh, it's called Harmony Harvest. And of course, I can't give you any sneak peeks to the end consumer. However, um, you and Janet can certainly look inside our Troll Beads world and see all of the beautiful um, pieces that are coming out next month. Um, but what I can share that it's a very exciting, it's a very beautiful collection. And I'm sure that um, all of your customers and collectors are gonna love them. And a couple of little surprises in there, as well, well as our 
winter collection and Black Friday bead um, are really going to knock your socks off. So I think that everybody's going to really enjoy um, what's coming from Troll Beads in the next few months. All right. Well, we're looking forward to it. That's great. That's great. Yeah. And that, that's the other interesting thing, too, about Trollbees, I think, is there's always something on the horizon. You know, there's always a new something uh, coming in, and, and, and we've always appreciated uh, working with you. Um, uh, people don't know, sometimes we have these little special shows of uh, where you have some unique beads and everything, and uh, not only are those uh, handmade by everybody and different, uh, Rachel picks those out, you know, maybe these, you know, she knows us and she knows some of our customers and she selects some of the beads and says them to us that are, are things that she thinks our customers will like. And I think she's right most of the time. <laughs> I try. I yeah. try. <laughs> well, Rachel, thank you so much for uh, sitting down with us today and uh, everything in New Jersey going okay? Yeah, we're still um, a little bit remote right now. Um, but thankfully, um, we're all staying safe and well, and, and everybody is, we're moving in the right direction. So we certainly hope that we can be with you guys very soon. And, uh, you know, I miss my trips to Sweet Tooth, um, but I can't wait to get back. And if I can, Jeff, if I can just take one more minute. Sure. Um, so in planning this, Janet asked me, you know, if I would maybe show some of my favorite pieces of the collection. Yes. yes. And I do have one piece that I... Want, would like to share with you guys. So um, when I was visiting the store, I think it, it may have even been the last time I was with you guys, I was looking, Janet had her own personal Troll Beats collection out for people to appreciate. And I said, Janet, you know, you have the most amazing bead that we can't get anywhere. Um, and it's the uh, 2015 Mother's Day bead, Mother's Rose. And I said, it's just so beautiful. And, you know, I hope you know how special that is. And she said, oh, I do know. And then she gifted it to me. So oh. that's what I'm wearing today is my oh. mother's rose. And um, I very much appreciate it. And it's one of my favorite pieces in my collection now. Oh. So I, I'm enjoying it. And um, I thank you very much for that. Yeah, yeah. I'll pass along. I'm sure you've talked to Jim about it. But yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> you said that she knew you would, uh, you would appreciate it the most. Uh, yes, very, very sweet. Okay, well, thank you very much again. And uh, we'll be talking to you before long, okay? Yeah, that sounds good. Rachel Stay from safe and well, everybody. Rachel from uh, Troll Beats. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.